Domestic violence thrives when we are silent. But if we take a stand and work together, we can end domestic violence. Throughout the month of October, you can raise awareness and join in the efforts to end domestic violence. Heartland for Children has events planned through the month to raise awareness in the Polk County community. All the details are coming up on Polk Place. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm your host, Steve Barnes. And with us today in the studio is Chase Weber. He's the Prevention Education Specialist with Heartland for Children, and Veronica Kirst, the president of Heather's Hope Foundation. Guys, thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you for Thank having you, us. Thank you, Steve. Yeah, we're excited to be here. Tell me a little bit about uh, why it's important for the community to be more aware of the problems of domestic violence. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll speak to what we do at, at Heartland for Children and why that's important to us. Um, it's you know it's kind of no secret that we live in a in a culture and a society today that kind of where violence is kind of normal um, and right. and almost celebrated. If you you know look at social media stories and and things like that, we're just kind of in a in a culture today that violence is kind of the norm. Um, and at Heartland for Children. You know, we see every day we see kids come into the foster care system, mm -hmm. um, and with you know around 1,700 kids or so at any given moment in the foster care system, one of the leading reasons for that is family violence. Um, whether it's parent on parent, or um, you know, mom and boyfriend, or dad and girlfriend, or even parent to child, or sometimes child to parent, uh, we're starting to see that a lot more. I mean, it is one of the leading causes that they come in, and so we have realized that. The, the solution is not talking to adults. The solution starts much younger than that. And so what's important for us is teaching young people, teaching high school students and other young people about healthy relationships at a, at a young age. And you know, we'd like to get in even earlier than that when we can and just talking to them about how to have healthy relationships, right. how to avoid unhealthy relationships. And we think those early steps down the road will have happy homes and cause happy homes to happen right. instead of instead of the violent situations that we're seeing occur and so that's that's what we do and um, I mean we do a lot but that's one of the reasons that this is a, a major issue to us is I, I think it's interesting so. to see a, an organization like Heartland for Children who right off the bat the image is children you know foster care adoption things like that mm -hmm. um, to step in and say look we recognize a problem and the problem needs, there needs to be an answer to it. And for, for an organization that isn't necessarily a domestic violence organization mm -hmm. to step up and say, you know what, we can be part of the solution. I think that's a really cool thing. Yeah, and I, I mean, I think it is too. And, and you know, as in our department, we're the prevention department. Mm -hmm. And so our job is to put the rest of our company out of a job. You know, if we can if we can do our jobs yeah. well and and really get some of these issues into the community and and help the community understand that it takes everybody. You know, it's it's not just the the people that have the problems. It's not just their issues. It's all of our issues. And so to come together as a community and with domestic violence, come together as a community and and help each other. And when we see situations, speak to them and not just be bystanders and address issues and know where to send people to get help and how to recognize. Uh, unhealthy relationships yeah. and and you know controlling relationships. How to see those warning signs that that we can send people in the right direction and and help them and and send them on where to get help and yeah. and to to help fix those relationships or remove themselves out of those situations. Mm -hmm. so. Now, Veronica, um, Heather's Hope. Uh, it's a, a unique organization. Uh, tell us a little bit about how Heather's Hope came about and what it is that you're doing for the community. Um, well, Heather's, Heather Rimmer was a teacher here in Polk County, and she was a friend of ours, um, mine and, and a group of other women mm -hmm. that are, are on our foundation. And um, she was murdered in 2008 by her husband. It was a murder-suicide, and the, the girls they have two children, um, Paige and Jordan, and they both witnessed the whole thing. 
And as friends of hers, we had no idea any of this was going on. So we figured that's a problem for us. We're, yeah. we're so close to her. We didn't know any of this was going on until after the fact. So we got together and we talked and we said, you know, there's got to be something we can do. And um, with Heather's mom and stepdad, we founded Heather's Hope Foundation in 2009. And for a couple years there, we were um, donating and, and helping supply domestic violence uh, shelters. Mm -hmm. And then we decided that we had to help, the, we had to educate the teens because Heather was 16 years old uh -huh. when she started dating her murderer. So we knew that we needed to help the younger generation. So um, we decided that we were gonna try to get the, to, we found out about a play called the Heather, um, the Yellow Dress play, and that was almost Heather's whole story. Yeah. Um, a teenager that was in a domestic violence situation, and she was actually murdered. And we wanted that in our high schools. That's, that was our key to educate our, our teens. And um, we, we needed help doing that. And that's how we got involved with Heartland for Children. And um, we, Heather was a teacher, so we wanted to um, have teens do essays. And, and we had a scholarship program. Um, last year and the previous years, it's been $1,000. But next year, it'll be $2,500 for these teens to write essays, how they can educate their community about teen dating abuse and domestic violence. Well, and it's, it's interesting that you talk about how young Heather was um, when she started dating um, her murderer, um, her abuser. And it, it's interesting because domestic violence isn't necessarily that extreme end of murder. It covers a, a, a wide gamut of, of situ situations and issues. Um, can you kind of speak to what, what some of the things are that people should be looking out for when it comes to domestic violence? Like, what are some of the things that, you know, like Chase was saying, we just kind of brush off as normal, but it really isn't, and it can lead to much more serious things? Uh, well, the yellow dress play covers that, and it, it really is about um, controlling, you know, I want your cell phone, you know, I want to mm -hmm. look through your cell phone. And I'm talking these are teen things right. that, that happen, um, those are signs. Um, you can't talk to your friends, mm -hmm. you know, you have to have certain friends. Um, you know, there's, there's yeah. a plethora of, of signs that are there that we don't see. Um, yeah, uh, and, what, and the, a lot of that stuff that the Yellow Dress speaks to is seeing those signs of watching um, a partnership turn into um, a dominating situation. Mm -hmm. and it, and you know our our culture tends to think domestic violence he hit her or he he really he hit her he, he beat her, her up he hurt her. hurt her he did yeah. something and it's um it's so much wider than that um women can be the perpetrators as well and they do it a lot of times through control and words and um, emotional damage and just watching um the relationships around you watching them turn from partnerships, like I said, to, to dominating relationships through those little things of right. not letting a spouse order at a restaurant. Um, I mean, this is one, that's one of the topics in the yellow dress is he won't let her order her own food even. Mm -hmm. And um, what seems cute at first in a relationship, oh, he knows what I like to order, right. to then turns into, okay, he's not letting me have a voice. And so mm -hmm. the yellow dress is, is Get really giving that voice back to, to especially young people who are in those situations yeah. and helping them learn how to speak. But then what I, I really like about the yellow dress is it's a call to action for everybody. Right. It's, um, it's our problem just as much as it is the people in those relationships that we have to speak, we have to be their voice and not just the victim. Um, Domestic violence situations a lot of times become so much about the victim um, to where a lot of times it ends up being the victim's fault or, mm. you know, Sad. she wasn't as strong or, you know, he was a weak man letting her do that instead of, no, you know what, this other person has a problem as well and we need to get them help and we need to speak to them. And um, 
so really going back to your original question of some of the small things, it's really watching out for those little things that turn a relationship from, and it can be even friends as well or yeah. siblings, watching those relationships go from partnerships to um, you know dominating experiences and just watching out for those little little details and little signs of that. And eventually being isolated from mm -hmm. everybody except for the abuser. Yeah. It, I'm, the play just seems like it would be it is a, an awesome way to connect especially with with younger folks with with teens that are a lot more visually engaged and you had said about uh, earlier that you're working to get the play in schools and things like this but this opportunity coming up is for anybody right correct yes yeah so our our goal at Heartland for children is to get the play into every high school that we serve we serve Polk Highlands and Hardy counties and you know we we take small steps towards that we did seven high schools in those three counties last year our goal is 10 this year but our end goal is every high school um, so in just seven high schools last year over 2,000 students saw the play and we know that because every student fills out a survey yeah. and turns it in um, and with 2,000 surveys it reveals a lot about what's going on and sure yeah. you know in these schools and so our goal is to get into every high school and a lot of the problem is some of these schools that we talk to don't think it's an issue or they don't want to bring light to the to the subject and so they're scared to bring it on their campus because they're afraid that it'll start happening mm -hmm. right instead of building the awareness so because it is already happening we have found through every mm -hmm. school that it's happening right. um, there's at least one situation in every school where it's happened or is happening and so yeah. we know that it's important in every high school whether whether the high school thinks it's happening there or not we know right. it is and so you know we we want to try to get it in every single one of those high schools because students need to need to learn about healthy relationships Absolutely. and how to look for healthy relationships as opposed to unhealthy and controlling relationships. And I believe some staff needs it too as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean domestic violence certain although you're taking the message to the young it's right. the message of domestic violence awareness is for all ages. Right. Now there's other, some other things going on in the month of October. So this is um, October 10th that the Yellow Dress is going to be at the Florida, uh, Florida Southern College. Yes. Correct. And yeah. then on the 24th, Fourth. right? Why don't you tell us about what's um, going on? October 24th is our annual Purple Ribbon Run, which raises money so that we can pay for the Yellow Dress to be played, as well as our scholarships. And that's at Lake Hollingsworth at 8 a.m. Um, active.com you can register um, if you don't want to race run you could just register it's for everybody and um, we have a kids race this year as well um, so that that is our main fundraiser for Heather's Hope. Well it sounds like there's going to be uh, great opportunities for people to get involved bring awareness to the community um, you know yeah October 10th that is um, We've had a lot of questions. Every time we do a program or somebody finds out, about, oh, where can I see it? Right. And, it's, well, it's a closed performance at high schools. So right. um, we have realized the need for the community to, to understand what's going on. Um, ABC Action News out of Tampa that covers Polk County and then all their counties, uh, they every year do their Taking Action Against Domestic Violence campaign. And so they actually reached out to us this year and wanted to make the yellow dress their entire campaign. Um, and so we will be doing the performance at um, four college campuses and uh, partnered with USF, so USF Tampa, St. Pete, and Sarasota. But then also for Polk County, we will be doing it at Florida Southern College, and that's October 10th. It's a mm -hmm. Saturday night. Performance starts at 7, and we will be doing the performance and then following up with the, the panel discussion at the end. Um, and it's a really good opportunity for everybody in the community Absolutely. to see we, it. All ages. We, yeah. we hope to Absolutely. see Girl Scout troops there. We hope <laughs> to see Boy Scout troops. You know, we, we want these children to know that this is free to them. Right. Come watch it. Uh, Parents, bring your children. And not just children, anybody, because mm -hmm. this is a, a really easy way for people to kind of come and learn more about this subject and then also know how to get help and where to help, but then also how to help those people that maybe they have noticed this going on, how to help their friends or their brothers right. or sisters right. or um, you know other relatives that they've seen some of these warning signs. So, Well, guys, thank you so much for coming on. We're all out of time, but um, what a you. great conversation, and I look forward to seeing you guys at the, the yellow, uh, yellow dress play. And um, 
Thanks so much. Thank you for Thank having you, us. Steve. Thank you. Now, like we said, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and Heartland for Children encourages you to raise awareness and join in on the efforts to, uh, to end domestic violence. Now, there are several events that we talked about here uh, going on through the month. Of course, um, the Purple Ribbon Run uh, that Heather's Hope is putting on is going to be on October 24th on Lake Hollingsworth. That's a Saturday morning. Um, the deadline for the website pre-registration is October 17th, and the cost if you pre-register is $20. If you register on the day of, it's going to be $30. Uh, refreshments are available for the runners, and they're going to be given out door prizes as well. So um, there will also be, at, at the run, there's going to be a memory wall. We didn't talk about this, but there'll be a memory wall for photos of persons who have lost their life due to domestic violence. So if you have any questions about uh, this year's race, you can contact Veronica Kirst at 863-409-7221 or check them out on the web at www.heathershope.net. They also invite you to the Yellow Dress. Now this is the play we were talking about. It's a dramatic one-woman play based on the story of a young woman who became the victim of a dating violence. Now the play is on Saturday, October 10th at 7 p.m. and the doors open at 6.30 p.m. on the campus of Florida Southern College. It's located at 1085 Johnson Avenue in Lakeland. It's a free event that's open to the community and the yellow dress was developed as an educational tool to illustrate the seriousness of violence in dating relationships. And it offers a platform from which discussion can begin around healthy dating relationships. For more information, you can call Heartland for Children at 863-519-8900, extension 294, or you can look them up on the web at www.heartlandforchildren.org.